Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Fallout 4 Let's Play series. It's episode number 83, and you'll never guess who I found. Leaders, eh? Bunch of knobs, if you ask me. It's Kate. Hi. Ready to head back out? Yes, I am. Please come with me. Wait, yeah, ready. I'm ready. Then let's get moving. It was dark. It was darked out, so it was weird. Yeah, come with me. Why the hell are we back here? You know how much I hate this. It's your doing, not me. Here's the deal, y'all. She wasn't at any of my places in the. She wasn't at, at any of my settlements at all. She just defaulted back to the combat zone because it, for some reason, wouldn't let me tell her a place to go. Massive shout out to a commenter who let me know where she is. We have Kate back. The story does not go unfinished. There's a chance Kate and I still may fall in love. There's a chance that she may someday feel for me. The way that I feel for her. I wonder if she thinks my butt looks good in my power armor. We're going to try and take her into the Institute. I have no idea if that's going to work. Probably not, if I had to guess, based on how teleportation works. I really had to guess. I'm guessing teleportation, it's only me. I, only I get to go into the Institute. But I had to try. I'm not bringing you back here. What we're, Where we're going is here. Big brain plays, Kate. I ain't bringing you back to the combat zone. You did that to yourself. I'm bringing you to a much more scary place. To the home of all that is evil in Fallout 4. All that's evil in the Commonwealth. It's the Institute. And I'm going to try and bring you in. I just I couldn't do it without you. Can we just talk? Yeah, anything wrong. Your thoughts? Nice to know there's someone I can depend on out here. Oh, she doesn't hate me for... How do you think things are between us? You know where you're headed, and you've got me back. That's the kind of person I like to be with. I've got you back, or I've got your back? Okay, whatever. I don't know. I'm not even going to question your very Bostonian grammar. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do it. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start hey, scanning for an institute signal. You coming with me? Onto. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. Looks very safe. Getting cold feet? No. I blame you. I'm not getting cold feet. I'm okay. terrified. Hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. I, uh, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Sturgis, uh -oh. I don't love uh, you. Yeah, we better hurry. I don't worry about that too big Changing the plan at the last second. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And got it. Hold on to your butt. You better. You better have it. Yo, it's happening. The first thing I had to do was check. where I was on the map and see, you know? I'm hearing a lot of noises. I'm hearing a lot of noises. I am about to piss my pants with fear, but I'm also excitement, also excitement. Uh, okay. Recent access, validation, validation. Those are the codes maybe? Error signal rerouted. So does that mean they know that we're coming or what? Oh, load holotype. There it is. Okay. The network scanner. That's what we're loading. Jesus Christ. What are you talking about? Don't give me an extra option. Game tried to give me a different option.
Okay, now I'm supposed to give that back to him. Is that it? Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as Fox. What? The Institute is under my guidance. Luke. I am. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Yo, I... Oh, man. I'm going to. Just give me a second, man. I'm I'm taking my sweet effing time with this part. If you know me at all, if you've watched any part of this Let's Play, you know that I'm going to take my sweet time with this. I am nervous. There's the elevator. No use. It's inaccessible. That's a nice, uh... What are you? Huh? I had to try it. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'm freaking out. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. Oh. This is the reality of the Institute. This Whoa. Place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. That was the back. As you've seen, things above are unstable. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you. Unstable. About what we can do for everyone. But that could wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Am I gonna get to see him? What in the ever-loving fuck is happening? They knew we were coming. He knew I was coming. Father knew I was coming. This is utopian. I'm like scared to move. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. you Sean it's me I'm I'm your dad father what's going on what's happening is he speaking to me there or is he speaking to father you know Sean are you okay you're not hurt are you what's going on father father He's talking to the other he, he's talking to the other dude. I don't know that he wants out. I think he thinks he's being kidnapped. Sean, open the door. I don't know you. Go yeah. away. Damn. Father, father, help me. There's someone. 
Someone here, help me! Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey uh -huh. here yeah, is a little bit, yeah. with challenges. We bit, yeah. Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. I'm hearing steps. I'm taking those. I don't give a shit. I might take your freaking... Are you following? Yeah, give me two seconds, my guy. I might take your flag, too. Just because that's how I feel about you. Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... Nah, he doesn't know who I am. As you mean to your son. Unless that's a synth. Sean. Not actually my son. Okay, that's the case. Okay. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been re it's good to find rewarded finally you after all this time. Rewarded? How? It's me. I am Sean. I am your son. What? <laughs> what? What in the actual fuck? How is that even possible? I mean, I know this cryogenics. That's how. But like, in the vault. You had no concept of the passage of time. That part's easy for me to understand. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. Yep. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. It... It wasn't right, what they did. Taking you from me like that. So how did they to confuse you, me about the ten-year thing? It seemed true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time... The year 2227. The Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. Why? In order so to like... followed the best example thus far. Offload human, human being consciousness into walking, sense? Talking, fully articulate, capable That's the only thought I have. Everything. Human synths? So really? that we can survive? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... Yeah, okay. Wasteland. Radiation affected everyone. 
even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world. That part world, makes a lot of sense. Members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. Pre radiation, then the Institute young human me after in a vault, records from vault unaffected. 11, yeah. Infant, that makes sense, actually. In time, protected from the radiation induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. I guess. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see. But I really need to know I why. Am their father. Through science, we are <laughs> The synths, me, and you. So here's what I need to know. I need to know why they need so badly to create synths. If I'm going to judge what they're doing here. Sean, it's really you. It really is. I believe him. I, I believe all that. I need questions. to know his take on the reason I why. Do to help you and understand. why he has devoted his life to it now. Kellogg, he worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. AKA the Institute's kind of like, man oh man, we didn't know he was so bad. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> I don't expect Damn. you to understand or agree with the decision. That's good, because I don't, so. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious Yeah, nature. exactly. I will freely admit that. Okay. The Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us. They wanted Kellogg killed, and so they put him in my way. What else can I say to ease your mind Okay, so the Kellogg thing is... Uh, I don't know. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her an death was an unfortunate bit, bit of, collateral of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? What would you have me say? The world is a dangerous place. Although I think maybe it always was. <laughs> it's just a bit more honest about it now. For many uh. years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking You don't get to say. More often. But what matters now is that you <laughs> and I have a chance uh, to begin again. With old what age comes the chance say? to say what if to and to regret. Mind. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The whole time we were chasing our son. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. And he no was in charge of above ground might think of us. The like the the force we assumed destroyed him. But director, why you? I was the most qualified for the position. <clears throat> Obviously. Obviously. I've lived my what does that life mean? within these walls, dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work. I have has not been. yet heard. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. A good reason for why heard, the Institute I know I can is the only solution. Just give me time. Give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. 
your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. What I've does been that mean? Part of something amazing here. Hmm? I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? They want me to stay here? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than I don't care. above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. A lot of suffering. I assure you that you are a lot of people us. trying to make better lives out there. I don't know what to do. Oh, I thought I, I was saying I don't know about that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The institute is the only thing left nah, in the world that is worth being okay. part of. I that is your that you give the institute me a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? The Institute's the only thing left in this world worth being a part of. We know that's not true. We like the Minutemen. We actually kind of are even into the Brotherhood of Steel, maybe, if I really need to be. The Railroad. Cool people. Like, you've given yourself away with that one. I don't think that that's true. Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work I got to together. say no, dude. I mean, I think I got to say no. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'm sorry to hear that. What I want I to hear certainly hoped we could work together. is but every man must make his own decision. Why you are why the institute is doing what they're doing. I believe I cannot force you to stay. Understand though that I cannot allow you to remain within the institute. You may have safe passage back to the relay where you will be sent back to the surface. But from that point, okay, I got questions. You must be considered hostile. I am sorry. I must think first of the safety of the Institute. Mm. And in the cruel world that has developed, those who are not with us are against us. The elevator will return mm. you to the relay. I'm quick saving here for a reason. Sean, can we talk about this? Have you reconsidered your decision? Sean, isn't there some other option? Some other way we can work things out? You've seen the Commonwealth. You must have some idea of how this world works. You're either with us or you're not. I'm afraid it's that simple. All I'm trying to do real quick is find what's his nuts serum real quick, you know? I know we're like meant to be talking right now. But like if I could just have the, the serum, I could leave and feel okay about myself. I just want to find the serum. All I need is the thing. I mean, I don't think I'm actually going to find it around here, but maybe. You know? Oh, I have... Uh, I have questions. I have issues. Sean's terminal password? I have many questions. I have many issues. big ones being I need to find Virgil I promised Virgil first off and I don't I don't try and I don't break promises do we do it I think we maybe do it
I'm panicking. I don't know what to do. There's so much. Okay. Let's read some stuff first. We can read about Kellogg and his like his life expectancy. Kellogg's a killer. People are scared of him. They're jealous because he is a augmented human being, cyborg. Benefits he's received cannot be denied. Really, science has enhanced life expectancy. He's already more than 100 years old. Perhaps he'll make it to 150 or 200. Shoot, wrong button. You see this? You see this thing at the bottom here? Director access synth shutdown. I don't believe we kill the synths. I just don't think we allow the institute to do their work. You know, steal people from the outside world, etc. Hydroponics program is functional. Synth output is nominal, which means small. I think, like barely. So they're barely putting out new. I don't know what that means. Child Synth Project is under quarterly review. Weapon Diagnostics ongoing. Director Zimmer is still on offline. Above ground operative termina terminated. I probably did that. I probably killed their courser. That's probably what it means. Pattern recognition algorithms ineffective. This is that test we were looking at earlier. Okay. Yo, I'm very nervous here. The wait continues. This is all about me meeting me. Okay, it won't let me do it. I was gonna say, I don't think I want to do it, to be clear. I don't think I want to kill the sense. No way to pick this. Director's recording. I'm freaking out, you guys. I'm freaking out. I don't want to stay here, but also I don't have Virgil's thing, you know? What was that called? It was like director or something. Damn it, Galton. What the hell is going on down there? I have to convene an emergency directorate meeting because of this screw up. That synth was a prototype. It was absolutely not ready for field testing. <laughs> the mess it caused in Diamond City threatens decades of work to keep us out of the spotlight. Hmm. I Maybe that's the one I saw clear. killed. My legacy as director will not be tarnished by your division's mistakes. I am going to find out exactly who approved any sort of operation above ground, and that person will be held fully accountable. I'm just, I'm triple checking literally everything because mostly I don't want to make a decision. I think we have to leave. Huh? Why can't I change the toy? They know that like people like me are just freaking out. We're just like, we're, we're, we're freaking out. We're just sitting here freaking out, trying to come up with what to do. I'm like looking in the trash cans. Like maybe there'll be a way out in the trash cans. I don't know. Maybe there will be. What's that sound? It won't let me activate the microphone. I don't know. Here's the shit. I I don't want to leave Virgil without his thing. But also, I don't want to stay here. Shit, wrong button. Like, what are the odds I can actually... I can only get in here once, you know? What do I do? Oh, I'm torn up here. What do I do here? 
There's no chance there's a key. Have you reconsidered your decision? What if I say I work with them and then I betray? What if I say it? I don't know, dude. I've changed my mind. Oh, I'm freaking out. I'll work with you. Well, that's good to hear. All right, then. I'm going to have to call it an episode there. Thanks so much for watching this episode of our Fallout 4 Let's Play series. I am as curious as you are as to what happens next. I'm freaking out. Have I just become a traitor to everything that I know about the world? Find out next time in our next Fallout 4 video coming at you. Same time, same place tomorrow. If you liked this video, do me a solid favor. Hit the like button underneath it. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.